¿Dónde está un, un pescado bueno? En la, a las 6 de la mañana, a las 6, ahí en el mercado de los esteros. Sí, el mercado, okay. el mercado yeah, yeah, de los esteros. A las 6 de la mañana, ahí en el mercado, aquí no, a los esteros. Okay. Allá venden encebollado, pescado, concha de todo. Oh, good, good, good. Uh, um, is it expensive? Uh, uh, ¿En hey, YouTube? Sí, en YouTube, sí, sí. Um, Diablo. We are in Mata. Hola. <laughs> Buenas días. Buenas you guys. My name is April. My name is Rondell. And we are in Mata. Happy to be here, you guys. Stoked to be here, but you know what? Let's handle some business first. Go ahead um, and give this video a thumbs up. Like if that. You already. Uh, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we drop. So I gotta tell you something, okay? Like, we've been exploring Ecuador mm -hmm. for almost four months. Getting it in. Been in the mountains. Showed you guys Cuenca. Right, Quito. Guayaquil. All that good stuff. But let me tell you a little secret. This is the spot we wanted to get to. Look, we knew we had to get to the coast, and the whole reason we wanted to get to the coast is to head to Manta. We wanted some coastline and some sunshine. You guys, we are here, but I also have to tell you something. We have been itching to get here for a long time. Our time in Salinas had come to an end. We packed our bags and headed to the nearest bus station, which was in an adjacent small town. April approached the counter, purchased our tickets, and we boarded this bus full with anticipation as we began imagining our next destination, the one that we had been anticipating from the time we got to this country. We rode along the Pacific Ocean's coastline for hours, watching fishermen towns transform into what seemed like tropical jungles and then back again. We watched this endless cascade of rhythm repeat itself over and over again, more mesmerizing with each turn. Large ports turn into barren seascape. Our ride was seasoned with loud soundscapes of 20th Century Fox playing 80s hits, Romancing the Stone, Mickey Rourke and The Last Outlaw, our bus filling with school children and emptying out again at the nearest town. We hit the city limits and we find ourselves itching to discover the heartbeat of this seaside city. And it didn't disappoint. Another reason I was itching to get here is because I know that Manta is one of those cities that has a large expat community. There is an enclave here. I'm already in the Facebook groups. I've been in there for months, just kind of lurking. Creeper. And searching and checking out what's going on here. My wife's a creeper? Because they seem to be an active bunch of people. So, so coming here, knowing that there's already going to be a community here and a great representation of melanin here. Negroes. I was really excited. Excited to come plug in, meet people, make friends, and make connections. Look at the tribe, y'all. Look at the tribe. Oh! Like just going throughout Ecuador, it's been cool. We've been to some places that I really, really liked, but I've been lacking that sunshine, that vitamin D. And I'm really digging your voice. Manta has it in spades. <laughs> So you guys, we've been all over Ecuador and I gotta say, we don't have very many complaints, but some weather that is consistently yeah. magnificent, I'm into that. Yeah, I'm it's been that. like mid 70s, nice cool breezes. Sunshine damn near every day, yeah. a nice cross breeze. We open our front door and open the back window and we got a breeze that comes through the house. Um, it's just been freaking gorgeous. Like this place did not disappoint. It was just nice to be in some stable conditions. Yeah. We've been enjoying being in Manta, but yeah. we got some observations. We got some impressions that we want to share with you. We want to give you guys Manta through our eyes. And we've been seeing a lot of things since we've been here. So what you got? So one of the largest industries here, the powerhouse of this area is the fishing industry. Like in the morning, this whole beach area is packed with fishermen unloading their product. They catch, come back, unload, go out and catch, come back, unload, go out and catch, come back and unload. It's bananas, man. This is a very uh, fruitful, bountiful um, area. And they do it all day long. I think the primary catch here is tuna. You fishermen? Atun, uh, camarón, or what? Camarón, too. Camarón, Okay, uh, uh, bountiful, lots. Uh, uh, mas, lots and lots. Si, si, si. Aquí hora hay pescado. Si. Well, a cualquier hora que tú quieras. 
okay, 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 si okay. quieres ahorita, ahorita, sí. si no mañana a las 7 de la mañana tú vienes y dices cuándo quieres ¿Cuánto ah. quieres llevar? Oh, he's ¿Cuánto? asking like how many do you want? Oh, how many do I want? Oh, no, 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 I just want to eat it. Oh. <laughs> restaurante. Quiero un restaurante. Ah, quiero un restaurante. Sí, sí, sí. Yo te puedo llevar a un restaurante también, mandar y todo, fix, fix, el camotillo, fix, a la hora, a tu. Oh, oh, they will make it. Oh, okay. oh so I can get a fresh, I can get a fresh fish here and take it to a restaurant to get made. Camarón, muchos langostinos. Okay, okay, okay. Yo estoy ahí. Ahí paro yo. Okay, okay, okay. ¿Cómo te llamas? Uh, Rondel. Julio. Julio. All right, man. Well, gusto. Gracias. Tú. Abril. Abril. Sí. 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 <laughs> Perdón. Mi hija se llama Melek. Melek. Mi hija. Oh, you're done already. Oh, Melek. 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 Oh, cute. Yeah. Bonita April? nombre también. Lluvia, lluvia Melek. Lluvia Melek. Lluvia Melek. Se lluvia. llama mi hija. Oh, okay. es bonita. Mi otro oh, hijo wow. se llama Neymar. Small world. Neymar. 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 Mi otro hijo se llama Yandel. Yeah, yeah, Yandel. Yandel. Sí, 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 sí. Yeah. <laughs> y mi otro hijo se llama Josué. Yeah. Oh, Josué. Josué, okay, ok. Ok, cinco hijos tengo. Sí. ¿Tú eres tu esposo? Sí. Ah, ¿Y tienen niños? Sí. No, no tengo. No, pero tengo. Tienes. Y dos. Tienes ah, dos. Sí, sí, sí. Yeah, dos. Sí. Dos hijos. ¿Y tú? No tienes. No, no. Papá. Pero en el futuro. Ah, está muy bien, muy bien. Yeah, yeah. ¿Cuándo se va? ¿Cuándo se va? ¿Dónde uh, go? No sé. Uh, Sí, well, well, um, estamos en Ecuador para cuatro meses. Ay, Eso es, es Quito, entonces Cuenca, Guayaquil, Salinas y ahora Quito, Manta. Cuenca, Guayaquil, Salinas y entonces, ahora. Un mes, sí, un mes sí, en sí. Manta. Está muy bien. Está yeah. bien. Está bacán. Ya, yeah, me gusta, me gusta el clima. Es lindo. Es perfecto. Y en, en qué hotel está? Perdón. En qué hotel está? ¿Dónde duerme? ¿En qué hotel? ¿Qué hotel? hotel? Sí. Oh, no, no hotel. Es un Airbnb. Puedes sí, salir sí, 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 sí. todo, todo wow. el barco, todo. Sí, sí, sí. Um, uh -huh. ¿Qué día? Si quieres ahorita, ahorita. Si quieres mañana, mañana. Si quieres ahorita, ahorita. Ok. Estamos buscar tú aquí. Sí, todos sí. días. Yo, mira, te explico, mi amor. Yo aquí, yo vengo. Uh, but you see all kind of uh, professional fishermen, these birds, swooping in to get paid as well, man. It's just a, a really vibrant area, and this place, they get it, man. I can't wait to get some seafood over here, because it's going to be fresh. How you doing? over here is a whole nother issue. Ain't no Uber working over here, y'all, again. I know. Ecuador, what's up? I feel like the only place where Uber was reliable was in Quito. Yeah, but on the flip side, there are tons of taxi services everywhere. Uh, you know, when we arrive to a place, we like to hit that grocery store and go grocery yep. shopping. And I was really nervous because we went to a grocery store that was out in the boonies. And I was like, man, it's late night. We ain't gonna be able to get us no taxi. But there were tons of taxis out there. Yeah, taxis rule the rope here. And yeah, yeah we don't have to worry about it because yeah. at major places like that where there is a grocery store, there is a mall, there's always like one or two taxi stands. So you never have to worry. But we live out in the boondocks. So we, we really had to do. figure out how to get a taxi to us. And that's when we found out about a taxi service called like Taxi Radio. You contact them, they'll send somebody to your location. And it's so far, they've been within five minutes having somebody there. So yep. that's really butter. Baby, you tell no lies about that infrastructure. It's freaking booming over here, in fact. I noticed that too. When we came here, like all I saw were so many different construction crews and construction happening all around the city. Like they are preparing for an influx of people. It's going down. I feel like if we buy property, this would be a, a good place to purchase. Definitely, like this is the time. It's a lot happening here and a lot of real estate. So the real estate here, you guys, is freaking booming. It is. It is definitely a seller's market. Uh, we got here and got around, you know, our objective was to land, get us an Airbnb for a week, and then find a place where we could rent. We are apartment hunting right now. Uh, we're here for about a week before we rent a place a bit more longer term. We're looking at a month, maybe two. Uh, we're currently in Manta, and we just want to check out the neighborhoods and see what they have to offer in regards to accommodations. We got our humble Airbnb that we stayed in. 
happy to be there. Thank you, Jesus. Started making these connections our second day here to go out and look at apartments. And we saw some really nice apartments that I really liked. But the numbers that they were talking, Rondale didn't like, y'all. We're looking at $1,500 and $1,600 for the month. Most of them, two of them were over $2,000 a month. Um, and after we wheeled and dealed, um, they ain't want nothing to do with us. We have a budget that we're trying to stick to. Ideally, right. we wanted to stay under $700. Look, we spent $750 in keto. For a beautiful space. Oh, oh my God, a wonderful, beautiful space. And my thoughts were, you know, Keto's a bigger city. Keto's a more, you know, forward city. So, you know, it should be It's cheap. the capital city. Yeah, the infrastructure is amazing. Okay, if we spend that much, let's see what we can get for that in Manta. So when they're believing he's smarter than the market, he gets out and he offers these people cash and they all said no. Uh, but I guess it's the high season here. It's approaching, yeah. Uh, and look, man, we ended up uh, finding us an apartment that was a little bit beneath our 700, so we were excited for it, and we believe that we got the deal of the century. Yeah. Uh, Arriba, no? Arriba. Yeah. All right, you guys, um, we're coming into Manta, and we took a site sight unseen $500 Airbnb which was a freaking deal out here but we're seeing what the deal was uh, we got security guards I'm like they're about 12 years old and it's just a rolling gate car can't go any further it looks really um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for uh, local so this should be an interesting stay guys oh you guys I got a bad feeling we're here for 30 days <laughs> 30 days 30 days Four. All right, this got bad juju written all over it, but I believe it's gonna be all right. This has the potential of being a really nice place, or we just got got in which place we'll try to get our money back, but I think it's gonna be a good place. <sighs> Let's see. place to work uh, as long as the internet signal is strong which we've yet to find out I will be good uh, see if we can buy us I got a phone which is really good um, I'm cool here for 30 days I'm cool this is all right um, I like that we are amongst the people but we're in a comfortable place amongst the people hopefully we can come out and branch out and uh, meet some folks Sí, un plato. A uh, plato of comida. Plato, a plate of food, y'all. It's rice, eggs, pollo, fish, shrimp. Oh, sin, sin ketchup. Um, you have, um, it's a picante a salsa. Yeah. Yum. Um, here they go. Oh, it's soy sauce also. Ooh. All right, y'all. We're going to take a little lunch break real fast uh, in the middle of this video <coughs> so we can stuff our face. Nothing special, but we're hungry and it was here. And it had my rule. It had people out here. This is the time of day that people are eating. Didn't see an old lady, so we'll keep our fingers crossed. Rafa. Mm. Gracias. It's interesting how street food is the premier choice of food uh, in a vast majority of the countries that we run through in Southeast Asia, Mexico, all throughout. You're going to be able to find cheap, well, inexpensive street food that's really good. Uh, this is some really good fried rice, eggs, and it has all the basic things that I need. Protein, starch, and a little drink for a dollar. Most affordable option out on the street, y'all. 
Hey, so what's going down tonight, you guys? What's the celebration, love? It is the 100 year Cincinnati. So, the, all the vendors are lined up, all up and down the strip. Uh, it's still early, y'all. We ain't hit 3 o'clock yet, I don't believe. And the uh, Malacone is filling. <laughs> it's going down tonight, y'all. So we're going to be in a place to be also. What's that? Hey, what's happening? <laughs> Shut that up, black folk. What's happening? Run us. Run us. Run us. Ah. Tattoos, you tat? Oh, okay, this is your work, man. Oh, they got sleeves, man. Nice. Oh, damn. Oh, you hard. Okay. Oh, shit, okay. Hey, you guys, this is Atlanta right here. What's the number there? One. E. Money. Money. Get your glasses. Nice to meet you. All right, bro. It's Rondel. Michigan, Florida. So while we're on our way to our next destination, I thought we'd play a little game with y'all, man. Some things remain the same. I believe that people are more the same than they are different. And around the world, we see a lot of the same kinds of things, like like hot dogs, okay? It doesn't matter where you are. Hot dogs are a street food you're going to see everywhere. You'll see them with rice. You'll see them with potatoes. You'll see them with cheese. You'll see them cut up into octopus. But you're going to see them. You're going to see some loud ass vendors who thinks noise sells. Mattresses. I don't know what the deal is, but everywhere got those little corner store that's selling mattresses. In our hood right now, there's no corner store. There's no grocery store but there's a mattress store. KFC and McDonald's, I don't know what it is, but they are everywhere internationally. It's like a gazillion other things, y'all. Hit us up in the comments if you've noticed that there are certain things everywhere you go. It's going down and we're excited to be here. Uh, celebrations are our thing, you know what I'm saying? Yes, we came at the right time. So I don't know if it's this live on a regular basis, but it is going into high season as well with this big celebration. So we're in the right place at the right time. You want to find something out about a culture, man. Go to their celebrations, eat their food, hang out on the poor side of town, you know, safely, you know what I'm saying? But if you want to find out about the people, hit the celebration. So we're going to hit the celebration tonight to find out what they're all about. Do they really party? Or is it a front? You know what I mean? So um, right now we are on what I'm calling the strip. I don't know the formal name of this little yeah. area, um, but it's a rocky beach. It's a, it's a pretty long beach though. It's, it's, a, it's about a mile long right here. Uh, it's rocky. It's not all super gorgeous, but it is packed with people. People are inside the water getting busy. There's an alcoholic section, a lover's <laughs> section, Look, a foodie section. Yeah, there's a restaurant section here. There are lots of chairs and umbrellas and little tents. You can risk some time out on the boat here. It's just a lot going down here. And, and people are enjoying this space. And you know this is where things go down. What's awesome, uh, something else that you find everywhere are, is good people, man. So we've ran into a lot of good people that just open, our, open their hearts to us, kicking it with us, talking to us, even though we can't speak, speak the language that yeah. well. Uh, we just have a really good time engaging with the folks around here. Hola. And um, it's just a blessing to be out and about, man. And we love it. So this is an invitation for you guys to make sure you have your notification bell turned on. We're inviting you to check out Manto with us. To our Patreons, we just want to say muchas gracias. If you bought us a coffee out there, if you are a donor to the channel and our Patreon group, we just say thank you and praise God y'all down with us and y'all helping us keep this thing moving. It doesn't function without you. And we really appreciate you. Thank you. So look, we want to thank you guys for hanging out with us today. We are finally in the place to be. We are in Manta. Yeah, we plan on being here for at least a few weeks. So tune into our channel to find out what we get into and what we discover about Manta. Hey, we need some collaborators, y'all. Look, if you are a creator in the area of Manta and you want to do something creative, fun, and different, get at us. We are, we are open. Let us know. Hit us up. Also, if Manta is in your realm of knowledge and you've got recommendations on things for us to do, let us know in the comments below. Yeah, man, we are thoroughly down and open. Y'all, it feels so good out here. We've been sweating all day. It's a great breeze. See if I hear it blows. Nice it's a blow. It's a, uh, kind of, kind of, kind of. 
There's a nice breeze coming off of this ocean. This is the picture perfect weather, you guys. I love it out here. Look, man, thank you guys for hanging out with us today. My name is April. My name is Rondell. And we will see you next time. Peace and love, y'all.